It's time for a bonus episode of the Josh Cast. Um, I want to talk about uh, Mario Brothers. Let's discuss Mario Brothers. Let's discuss Mario Brothers. Never got into the game. Uh, nothing against the game itself. I It just wasn't... You know, now that I think about it, in a weird way, it wasn't violent enough for me. But that doesn't make sense, because I think Mario... Mario is a nonstop killing machine. Um, I, you know, he steps on turtles and then proceeds to use them as weapons to kill other animals. Mario is the, you know, the scourge. Like, as far as turtles are concerned, Mar, you know, Mario's, you know, kind of right up there with, uh, you know, the, you know, the, the the dictator that starts with an H, if you will. That, from the turtles' point of view, that's that's. That's what Mario is. Mario is the Mussolini um, to turtles. And he's um, trying to save the princess. I think the turtles, what they should really be asking... Um, and I, 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 Here's what I think. I think some turtles see Mario... Some turtles definitely see Mario as the aggressor and as the villain. But I think that the other turtles, dare I say the progressive turtles, are saying, you know, guys... We are turtles. Why are we being used uh, as soldiers? Whose idea was this? Uh, we are by nev- we are by definition a defensive animal. We when something bad happens, we we retreat into the shell. Why are we being used as offensive weapon? There are some serious logistical problems with this. Very serious logistical problems with this, but I think the turtles who voice that, well, the turtles who voice that are 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 silenced, if you will, and uh, they their voices are not heard, and the the turtle the turtle casualties continue. Mario is a plumber, a plumber, and you know what? There's there's something empowering about that. That you know, really anyone anyone can be a hero. A plumber could be a hero. My question is: Would Super Mario Brothers would would it work? Would would it still be enjoyable if Mario was a lawyer? Or would there some would there be something about the game that was less? I don't think Mario would use. I don't think Mario would kill if he was a lawyer. I think Mario would find a legal would find a, a legal course of action. I mean, I, you know, I know Bowser is the ruler of this you know, magic land, but I'm sure, you know, somewhere there's an injunction powerful enough to stop this dude. So maybe Mario should have hired a lawyer. I don't know. But he is a plumber who is constantly trying to save the princess. And, and I, I, my understanding is that he enters this world to save the princess. And if he's entering this world to save the princess, who's doing the plumbing? He's a plumber who's never available. You know who I feel sorry for? I feel sorry for the people who rely on Mario as their plumber. Like, you know, they're the people who say, listen, this Mario's great. He's amazing. He, he can actually... He can actually climb onto the toilet and then go, go down through it. It's, I've never seen anything like it. And if he needs to, he, he just eats a couple of things and he gets bigger. I mean, he's, he's, he's magic. He's an amazing plumber. I feel envious for the – or not envious. I feel, uh, I feel the, the, the biggest victims are the people who like Mario as a plumber who recommend it to their friends. And then when the friends try to call Mario and he's not available because he's off saving the princess, the friends get angry at the guy who made the recommendation. And they're saying, well, where is Mario? I've called – I've left 19 messages on his machine. Where's Mario? We had to we had to go with someone else. I just have a feeling. I have a feeling Mario is the better plumber between Mario and Luigi. I have a feeling that I just I just have a feeling that that uh if you call for Mario and you get Luigi, I envision I envision an older Jewish woman advising, don't, don't, 
don't use Luigi. If Luigi answers, just just don't say it. Don't be impolite about it. Just don't 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 ask. Just you only want to eat Mario's Mario's better. Luigi, he'll he'll scratch up the floor. Mario, he's Mario's a doll. Mario is a doll. I love Mario. Mario is fantastic. That's my theory on that. I think you wanna you make sure you wanna always use Mario. Don't you don't don't use Luigi. Not to say that Luigi is not that has his own skills. I, he's not a plumber. That's what my mother. That's how my mother would frame it. She would say, "No, Luigi. He's creative. That's what he is. He's a creative. Okay. He wanted to be an artist, and he tried his hand at animation, um, and it didn't work out. But that's he's creative. That's really what he is. This this isn't his passion. Plumbing." Uh, Mario, on the other hand, plumbing is his passion. I yeah, I feel like between the two, my mom would would like Mario more than Luigi. From a plumbing, you know, for the in terms of getting the work done, as a person, she probably would jive more with Luigi. I feel like the two of them would have a lot more in common. I think they both ran around with with uh, jazz musicians when they were younger, whereas Mario was much more straight laced. Um, and just, you know, he was, his father was a plumber, his father, his father was a plumber, he became a plumber. There's a lot of pleasing dad going on with Mario. The princess. The princess. Yes, indeed, the princess. Is there a king? Is there a prince? Mario saves the princess. We assume that Mario and the princess are in some kind of relationship as a result. We hope. It's never implied. Maybe the princess is not in a relationship with Mario. Maybe it, uh, you know, maybe it's it's cordial. We don't know. No, why do I, what do I mean by cordial? That doesn't sound. Maybe it's, it is platonic. That's, that's where it is. Of all the zones Mario passed, the one he couldn't get past was the friend zone. Oh, 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 it's a podcast. Oh, oh, oh. The main bad guy is Bowser, who I believe is, I think he's, he's either a giant turtle or he's a dinosaur. I'm not sure. I might be getting the game mixed up with the movie. He looks like a giant turtle, a giant angry turtle of some kind with with uh with spikes very angry turtle who wants i guess to take over the who wants the princess for some reason they don't seem genetically compatible but what do i know what do i know what does bowser want with the princess well, what does any turtle want with a princess? It seems like all the turtles really care about is fer- you know, fertilizing the female's eggs, and then the female has to swim 10 million miles to lay the eggs in the sand, and it's a journey that they have to take every year, and they almost die. And it just seems like a horrible existence. And maybe Bowser said, screw this. I'm getting a piece of the monarchy. I can't stand this anymore. I'm not going to do this. But then again, I think Bowser's a male, so I don't think he has to worry about laying the eggs. You know, I'd want, you know, or perhaps it's purely a looks thing. Maybe he's attracted to the princess, not attracted to turtles. But one would assume that turtles find other turtles attractive and are not attractive to different species. But maybe we shouldn't make that assumption. Maybe that's too narrow-minded in 2019. Maybe we need to open our minds. Perhaps there are turtles out there who find blonde women in pink dresses to be attractive and would prefer that. But there's nothing they can do. They can't make a move because it's because it would be unseemly in the turtle population to do that. I just I wonder if turtles are not given a fair shake i just because there's got to be in this world there ha- that 
where Mario is going against all the turtles and Bowser, there have to be turtles that are pacifists, that are not associated with these other turtles. And they're just walking around going, you know, we're gonna be we're gonna have to be apologizing for this for centuries because of these because of these extremists. We're gonna have to be what are we gonna do? We're gonna have to be apo- we're this is you know, this is not who we are. This is not who we are. How did we let this happen? Probably there was a, a socioeconomic disaster and Bowser was able to ascend to the top of the turtle food chain and basically convinced them all, listen, we get our hands on a princess, we've got ourselves a meal ticket, a meal ticket. And no one would question Bowser because he's much bigger than the other turtles and he has spikes on his wrists. And you don't want, you don't mess with, with a turtle with spikes on their wrists. You don't do that. I'm not sure if he ever has to retreat into his shell, how the spike situation would, I feel like that might rip some cartilage or something might go wrong there. I don't know. Maybe he never retreats into his shell. I'm not sure. It's a giant turtle, Bowser, who Mario defeats, I think, by, I don't know if he jumps on him. I don't know. I mean, it's Mario kills things by jumping on top of them. That's pretty, that's pretty intense. I mean, that's pretty, you think about that. That's, that's incredibly violent and gruesome to, to, to beat someone to death with your own body. To just stomp something to death. That's intense. It's not very humane. But then again, is any kind of killing a humane killing really? It's murder. But then again, can you call it murder when it's when he's trying to rescue the princess? I mean, you could, maybe, perhaps you could have to frame it as being casualties of war. I preferred Street Fighter 2, I'll be honest with you. There's something about the idea of being able to throw a fireball that really excites me. That if you train hard enough in the world of martial arts, one day you can, you can summon and throw a fireball. And my only thought is if you can summon and throw a fireball, at that point, why punch and kick? You can throw the fireball. That was the only move I knew, that was the only move I did, throwing the fireball. Or I played Guile and threw the sonic boom. That was pretty cool, too. Um, The only problem with throwing a sonic boom is that you visually see the sonic boom, and it's traveling much slower than the speed of sound, which tells me it is not a sonic boom. I think it is more realistically a spinning disc that hurts people if they happen to walk into it. I'm I'm sure there's a way that you can play Street Fighter as Mario. I'm sure that's, that's a thing that has to be. And his one move would just be to stomp on, on, on Ryu. And then you've got to, then you got to explain that to Ken. What do you mean you were defeated? What did he do? He just he jumped on me a lot. We, wait, did you fight E Honda? No, no, no. It wasn't, he wasn't a samurai. It was a plumber. You were stomped on by a plumber. Yes, multiple times. It was very painful. Was the plumber bigger than it was not? I it was not bigger than me. I don't understand it. He pummeled me. He just he jumped on me, and and then he used me to kill. He threw me, and and I he threw me right into Zangief, and now Zangief's dead. Wow, it's intense. Yeah, I I know it. You know it, it's very not only is it intense. I'm pissed off because if. There, there was no, there was no martial. He has no martial arts training. He has no martial arts training. He just, he defeated me by jumping on top of me. Do you know how many years I trained at Wudan Mountain? Do you know how many years? And I'm defeated by a plumber who body slams me. G- calm down, man. You know you'll, you'll, you'll fight another day. It, well, I can't, I can't be calm. Have I wasted my life? No, you haven't wasted your life. You can throw a fireball. 